Dear friends, welcome to Bond with RK Chemistry YouTube channel. In coming videos, I will explain about metal carbonyl. In this lesson, we will discuss the introduction of metal carbonyl, definition, physical properties, classification of metal carbonyls, the bonding in metal carbonyls, the structures of some metal carbonyls, and effective atomic number rule. In this video, I will explain introduction, definition, physical properties and the classification of metal carbonyls. Let us take the brief history of metal carbonyl. In 1834, Justice von Liebeck, he conducted a reaction between potassium and carbon monoxide. He thought that there was a formation of uh, KCO. Later it was uh, confirmed that there was no formation of KCO. There was a formation of uh, potassium salts of benzene derivatives. There was a formation of potassium salts of hexahydroxy benzene and also dihydroxy benzene. Suppose if the KCO was formed in that reaction, it would be the first metal carbonyl. Since there was no formation of KCO, in history, the KCO was not a first metal carbonyl. In 1868, Paul Schuzenberger, he synthesized dicarbonyl dichloroplatinum 2 complex. This is the first metal carbonyl and this is the first true heteroleptic metal carbonyl. And in 1890, Ludwig Mond, he prepared first true homoleptic metal carbonyl that is the nickel tetracarbonyl. In 1891, Marcelin Bertholet, he prepared FeCO5. Later on, so many metal carbonyls were synthesized. At present, we have numerous number of uh, metal carbonyls. Then what is the definition of metal carbonyl? These are coordination compounds or complex compounds between metal and carbon monoxide ligand. There is a coordinate covalent bond between uh, metal and uh, coordinate carbon monoxide ligand. This is the coordinate covalent bond between metal and the carbon monoxide ligand. And these are also considered as organometallic compounds since uh, these compounds have direct bond between metal and carbon, MC bond. That's why these are also called as one type of organometallic compounds. And these are the most widely studied types of metal pi complexes. In Metal carbonyls, you can find M double bond, P double bond, one of the resonance structures of uh, the bond in metal carbonyls will be M double bond, C double bond, O. In between metal and carbon, there is a pi bond. That's why these are called as pi complexes. Metal carbonyls are the widely studied types of uh, metal pi complexes. And the general formula of metal carbonyls is MxCON, here uh, X is the number of metals, M, and N is number of uh, CO ligands. Sometimes you can find uh, two metals, Mx, M dash Y, CON. This is the general formula of metal carbonyls. In metal carbonyls, generally metal is in zero oxidation state or low oxidation states such as plus 1 or minus 1. What are the physical properties of uh, metal carbonyls? If you take the physical state, most of the metal carbonyls are liquid or volatile solids. And then what is the color? Mononuclear metal carbonyls generally colorless sometimes uh, pale yellow, colorless to pale yellow. 
there is an exception vco6 it has blue green color it's a blue green solid and if you take polynuclear metal carbonyls these are dark in color mononuclear pale in color or colorless and polynuclear these are dark in color and solubility if you take neutral metal carbonyls the oxidation state of uh, metal is zero in this case these are soluble in non polar and polar organic solvents okay these are soluble in only organic solvents such as benzene toluene acetone in these solvents a neutral metal carbonyls will be soluble if you take ionic metal carbonyls these are soluble in uh, water and also lower alcohols so such as methanol and ethanol okay this is the solubility of metal carbonyls and the toxicity metal carbonyls are toxic in nature since if you take the metal carbonyl these are readily decomposed into metal and carbon monoxide we know that the carbon monoxide is a toxic toxic gas due to less thermal stability and the low melting point of metal carbonyl these metal carbonyls exhibit uh, toxicity when you expose for short term there is a cause of damage to lungs liver brain and uh, kidneys so these are very toxic if you expose for long time these are carcinogenic in nature and uh, magnetic properties all metal carbonyls are diamagnetic in nature since uh, all the electrons are paired the all the metal carbonyls are diamagnetic there is a exception vco6 you have one unpaired electron due to having one unpaired electron vco6 is paramagnetic this is the exception thermal stability if you take highly unstable and uh, they decomposes on heating into metal and uh, carbon monoxide when you heat metal carbonyl you will get metal and carbon monoxide and thermodynamic stability when you expose to air there is a oxidation of metal carbonyl the co will be converted into co2 if you take uh, kinetics these complexes are kinetically inert thermodynamically unstable but kinetically these are very inert these are physical properties of uh, metal carbonyls then uh, classification of metal carbonyls based on type of ligands ligands you can classify metal carbonyls into homolytic metal carbonyls and heteroleptic metal carbonyls in homolytic metal carbonyls you can find only co ligands only you have one type of ligands that is co ligands in heteroleptic ligand along with co ligands you can find uh, other ligands this is a general formula of homolytic ligands this is a general formula of uh, heteroleptic ligands in this case you can find uh, ligand other than carbon monoxide and uh, carbon monoxide okay homolytic what is the example nico4 is the example for heteroleptic uh, platinum co twice cl2 in this case you have chlorine other than carbon monoxide you have chlorine ligand so these are called as heteroleptic metal carbonyls and based on number of metal centers or number of metal atoms which are present in the metal carbonyl you can classify metal carbonyls into mononuclear and polynuclear the name suggests that mononuclear means it has one metal center so the general formula will be mco n you have so many examples nico4 and uh, FeCO5, CrCO6, VCO6, all these are mononuclear metal carbonyls.
polynuclear you have two or more than two metals what is the general formula mx co n or mx yeah, m y dash co n this is this is a general formula of polynuclear metal carbonyls in polynuclear also based on type of metals you can classify into homonuclear and heteronuclear this is based on type of metal the polynuclear metal carbonyl contains one type of metals in this case you have only manganese iron iron cobalt cobalt here you have two or more than two metals but all the metals are same type mn to co10 fu to co9 fe3 co12 co2 co8 co4 co12 okay, all these are homonuclear metal carbonyls these are polynuclear in this case all the metals are same type in case of heteronuclear you can find two or more than two different types of metals here manganese and cobalt c19 you have two different metals and also manganese rhenium co10 here also you have two different metals based on bridging based on uh, bridge -like ligands you can classify polynuclear into bridging polynuclear metal carbonyls and non bridging polynuclear metal carbonyls in bridging also there is a mu2 bridging and mu3 bridging here the carbon monoxide ligand will be shared by two metals will be connected with two metals in mu3 the carbon monoxide ligand will be connected with three metals in non bridging you don't have bridged carbon monoxide ligands you have only terminal carbon monoxide ligands the mu2 bridging fu2 co9 and the mu3 bridging cp4 fu4 co4 cp means cyclopenta dienoy anion okay, this is the classification of metal carbonyls in coming video i will explain the bonding of metal carbonyl thank you